Good morning YouTube, my name is Nathan and you're watching Robot Masters. Today we have something very special. You guys know what this is? Yes, you guys all know what this is. This is the Brava M6, iRobot's mopping robot. This is their third generation. They came out with the 240 Brava Jet and they also came out with the 380 series as well. So this is the latest, it's called the Brava M6. Um, basically iRobot calls it the M series. But we'll do a full in-depth review, so stay tuned. So let's go ahead and get these guys out of the way. This is all the consumable products for the Brava M6. So first we have the wet mopping pads. They come in a box of seven for $7.99. And there's also a dry mopping pad solution as well if you want to just pick up dust. This is iRobot's solution. I highly recommend using iRobot solution because if you use an incompatible solution, it could cause damage to your robot. So we'll get these guys out of here. Okay, so let's go ahead and just do a quick overview of the robot. So iRobot's been doing the signature design with both the S9 and with the M6. It's a circular kind of design. I really like that kind of gives it a classy look. Um, the plastics are okay. Uh, nothing too fancy with this robot. Uh, it feels like it's decent plastic. It will hold up for a long time. You got your standard Roomba affair, which is the big clean button right there. You also have the home button and you got your spot clean. One thing to note is that these buttons are actual physical buttons, unlike on the Roomba S9 where they were composite, but touch buttons. So these have to be clipped down. Okay, and then you got your signature little White House right here. This is what all Roombas have. This help it navigate back to its charger. So let's go ahead and open up the lid. This is similar to what the S9 has, and it has a top loading water bin. Um, so it's real easy to get this guy going. All you have to do is put in about six cap bowls of solution and either put in cold or warm water. So the front of the robot, you have a big old bumper right here. It's nice, rubbery. Also you have the spray nozzle and there's two uh, sensors to detect objects, right? But your infrared sensors. One thing that's unique about this robot is it actually charges by docking in from the rear. It actually does not dock frontwards. It actually docks in going in reverse. So that's why you have this infrared sensor right here to help it line up with the dock. So here's the underneath of the robot. You have your detachable mopping pad, which you eject from right here. I'll show you that on camera. See that? Real easy. So you don't have to touch the pad. Just a simple one push. So that's why I like disposable pads. You don't have to worry about cleaning them. You just push the button, they go to the trash, and you're done. And these pads are held on by some Velcro right here. There's one on each side. Uh, this is the sensor that tells what type of mopping pad you have. And it actually reads these little symbols right here. So that sensor right there, notice the different design pattern. And you see that difference there? that sensor will read that shape and it will know if it's a wet mopping pad or a dry mopping pad. So if you haven't seen my other videos, uh, I did one where I actually took out the battery panel. It's just held on by two screws. I like that these robots can replace the batteries because after three to five years, 
the robot will need a new battery and it's real easy just to replace. One thing to note is I always recommend going with the manufacturer's battery because if you get a third party battery and it explodes, it leaks in the product, unfortunately it's not covered by the warranty. And then right here, these are your charging contacts. And here are your wheels. They are self adjustable, so it helps you kind of navigate uneven terrain. Keep in mind that this robot cannot transition over small thresholds or carpets. Let's go ahead and have a quick look at their wheel design. Um, they actually added a double wheels right here. There's one and two, and they're made out of a kind of a sticky, rubbery material. So this is the navigation camera. It's similar to the Roomba S9. It's a 3.0 navigation camera. I never owned a mopping robot. I had a Roborock S5, which had a detachable mopping module. Basically, you would fill water in the module and it would drag the pad along. Um, the only downside to this is the cleaning algorithm was the same as a vacuum algorithm. So basically it wasn't able to do a back and forth motion. It just kind of dragged it along and kept going. It really didn't do a thorough cleaning job. It was just designed to pick up dust. It wasn't really a true mopping design. The Bravo M6 has its own dedicated algorithms to mop. It uses a back and forth motion and it will cover the same area multiple times. It also applies a little downward pressure to help uh, get into the stubborn grimes. Here's a look at some of my mopping tests I've done with the Bravo M6. Here's where the M6 really shines. It's able to get the month old grime on my glass table no problem. The reason it's able to do this is because it goes back and forth multiple times over the same area and it also applies a little downward pressure kind of like how you traditionally mop. It does an excellent job with this grime. One thing to note is the Bravo M6 doesn't do so well with a lot of liquids. Uh, the mopping pads easily get overwhelmed and start spreading the liquids out. Here are the mopping preferences. You got standard, deep, and extended. So I found that deep will just go over the area multiple times, whereas extended will only cover the area once. Also in a spray, I found that the minimum setting for my hardware floors is ideal because on medium to high spray mode, it puts down too much solution. So in this video, I selected extended coverage and minimal spray amount. You'll notice how much the robot does not overlap. So what do you guys think? Maybe in the future, these robots can clean this quick? I think that'd be awesome if the Bravo M6 moved this quickly. Keep in mind that the Bravo M6 is on its extended coverage mode. If you select standard or deep, it will go over the area multiple times. So the Bravo M6 also has dry mopping pads. You notice that the cleaning pattern is slightly different. It does more of a longer back to forth motion and it doesn't cover the areas as nearly as much. This mode is great for just picking up light dust. It will finish its cleaning cycle with a quick perimeter sweep. Let's go ahead and talk about the cons of the Bravo M6 and then I'll go ahead and talk about the pros. My biggest con is it does still manage to get on the carpet. The way I have it laid out is I have a hardwood floor and then it transitions into carpet. Sometimes the Bravo M6 will avoid the carpet, sometimes it will still manage to get itself onto the carpet and beach itself. I am on the latest software and I have still seen it do this. Uh, you can, here's my carpet test and you can see of some of the problems that the Bravo M6 had with bathroom rugs, area rugs.
Keep in mind, this isn't really an issue. This is coming in August. Here's a quick demonstration of the keep out zone on the i7. It's going to be the same for the M6 and S9 as well. Very easy to use, works really well. Check out my video on the keep out zone if you want to learn more. Do I recommend the Bravo M6? Yes, I do. This is one of the best mopping robots I own. The reason why is because it does really well at deep cleaning. It also has really long battery life. The app integration is top notch. I can easily schedule it to clean, also schedule certain areas. Like the Roomba S9, it has training runs where it will learn your layout of your home. It also can detect carpet. While this function still needs a little refinement, for the most part, it does a decent job detecting boundaries. I also like the fact that the water reservoir is pretty large. It can easily cover 1,500 square feet of hardwood floor that I have in my house. Thanks for watching my review of the Bravo M6. If you like this type of video, give it a great big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. It really shows that you appreciate these types of videos and I will continue to do more. I have a lot more testing to do on the Bravo M6 since this is still a new product. I also like to go back every couple months to see how the Bravo M6 improved. So I'll constantly be updating you guys on the Bravo M6 if there's any new updates or any new thing I found out. So you guys have a great rest of your day and be safe out there. Thank you. Elephant. Oh, we got the little pink elephant.